Good. Okay, so listening to someone is talking about uh, getting stuck into sort of the drama that goes on TV and being bored. And when you have limited options to sort of choose things, how, and you're feeling bored, it's easy to get sort of stuck into the, the victimhood narrative that can be on the screens and on TV and uh, on social media. And how, how can one sort of step away on, or not give um, attention to this when one seems to be bored and starved of things to do and more enjoyable things to, uh, to do when the world seems to be full of uh, victimhood and drama, which is a great, I can really, really understand that. Uh, for me, uh, the th yeah, it's the thing of um, things in, whenever things come up for me, it's a thing of how can I, you know, this is obviously going to be my next area for spiritual growth. So with, um, if there's a lot of drama on TV, it would probably mean I can do one of two things. Probably best is not to watch the drama on TV or at least try and watch things which have a higher vibration. So certain music has a higher vibration like classical music. Um, like Dr. Hawkins with his muscle testing research, certain, uh, certain, you know, even spiritual teachers that calibrate highly could be something that would help you resonate. There are even some uh, films that uh, might calibrate at a high level. Uh, uh, nature documentaries often cal calibrate in the 400s, so they're quite integrous. Uh, don't uh, aren't necessarily full of victimhood and people blaming each other and and going into victim narratives. And but it is it is di difficult because if one isn't sort of mindful uh, to get uh, programmed by the collective program, so if there's a lot of victimhood going a lot of judgment and victimhood, you know, the collective programming of the world, which is very much going into victimhood. Once you get, allow your consciousness to get sort of um, absorbed into that without any defense, um, it's easy to get sucked into those belief systems and get programmed by them. Now, Hawkins wants, uh, what, you know, with muscle testing, you can get a lot of uh, useful spiritual information. So when Hawkins was watching an advert, if you just check, uh, through through the muscle test, how many times your body goes weak because you get programmed by uh, negative belief systems, lies, which try and seduce you and install you with programs like you need to buy this car now, or you'll never be happy. Or uh, unless you look thin and glamorous, you won't be. I mean, all these unconscious programs that TV, people pushing agendas for victimhood and blame, or trying to sue people for money, or trying to... Um, say they need more support or whatever it is. So it's very easy to get programmed by those belief systems. So it's good for me to try, I think it's good just to try and avoid those if one can. If you're forced to look at that, I mean, you can practice something like the observer or canceling beliefs or prayer at the same time. So just like, you know, in a, you could sort of say it like this, if you're in a cinema, and suddenly there's a horror movie going on. You didn't know it was going to be a horror movie full of uh, werewolves and whatever going on, on the screen. Quite disturbing material. Um, now you can either, um, if I could, if everyone could be on mute. I think someone's not on mute. So if you could put yourself on mute, please. Um, so if you if you get um, if you get uh, absorbed into the movie screen, it's like you go into hypnosis, and everything that goes on. Um, your consciousness gets absorbed into it. But if you, if you detach from the movie, what's going on in the cinema, then you can just suddenly detach and actually not get absor absorbed and installed in the programs that are going on in the movie. And that's the same principle you can apply if you're stuck and there's a TV on in the room or something, just practice being detached. You don't have to absorb and take the programs in. So that would give you some defense are getting enmeshed into the programs that are going on around the world. Now, what if it seems like the world is such a place, you know, there's coronavirus, you can't do much and you're getting bored. Well, again, with boredom, um, the thing with boredom is that something observes boredom. Boredom is actually um, an energy field. It's a feeling that comes up. You can either feel out boredom See if you can just go into withdrawal and just experience the boredom until it passes or be the observer of the boredom. That which observes boredom is not bored. 
and then you can try and transcend boredom rather than the temptation of course when boredom arises as a feeling is to hook into a thought to put on some drama so your consciousness will then go down a level as opposed to transcending you know, praying to release the boredom praying for a miracle to see the boredom differently cancelling my belief in boredom being the observer of boredom or feeling the boredom out then gets you to a higher level of consciousness um, the, you know the if there's victim narrative, it's one of the most unhelpful things because taking on victim programs from the world, uh, you just install the programs in yourself. You, you tune into that victimhood level of consciousness and that will lead to um, depletion, lead to unmanageability because one won't be in a field of responsibility or in higher fields of grace and flow. So try and, try and resist thing of like uh, what do you focus on is it good to f well yes focusing on victimhood drama and focusing on something positive is good but you can also get free of you know these are subtle la layers of transcendence boredom how do you transcend boredom like i've just said but also if you're f if you're you know to focus on only the positive something is observing the focuser what in you focuses on this or that or the chooser so there's also an observer of the chooser so you can find a layer of freedom which is beyond focusing and which is beyond boredom. Of course, the miracles is very good. Whatever your lesson for the day is, just run the boredom or the, or the victimhood programs through your course lesson and that will help you to transcend it. Okay, I'm going to press uh, stop.